Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What's going on, everybody? My name is Zelburns. Welcome back to yet another React video. Now, today I have something in stored, which is a little bit different to what I traditionally do on this channel when it comes to SCP-related videos. Um, if those of you who have never heard of Soda or Fallout, it is a creepypasta that was based on an event for Thomas the Train, which is not canon to this story at all. Um, the reason why I bring up Soda Fallout is because a YouTuber by the name of Percy and the Beast Productions was doing a Fallout series on that. And now he's doing a SCP series on Thomas Train, but it's not Fallout, if any of you know what Fallout is. I actually got to turn this light off. I, bought, I have a little flashlight thing, but it's too blinding. I thought it was going to help with lighting, but it's not. It's just making me blind. First time I was actually ever using that. I've had that for months and it's not going to work here, but regardless, I am going to be reacting to Percy and the Beast Productions and hit the SCP series he is doing. Um, so keep in mind, even though it's Thomas the Train related, it's still SCP, which I also grew up watching Thomas the Train, so it makes it even better for me. <laughs> But um, with that being said, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And if you like this, I will probably do more reactions of Percy and the Beast in the future. So let's get right into this video in three, two, one. Here we go. In collaboration with... I knew it was a collaboration. Living Trains. What is this? Crying engines? One thing I like about his content is it's always interesting. Brainwashed drivers? Speculation by the SCP Foundation. What created them? This island is an SCP. So it are in the SCP. Let's do this. The Secret SCP Files, Episode 1. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out before we get too deep into this video. I already saw the SCP uh, Thompson Train video he posted in the past. I've been following his channel since it started, but I never decided to react to this stuff. But after much consideration, I think I will start reacting to a Person the Beast production uh, Thompson Train videos in the future. Oh, aside from SCP, but it, I know it's really different from my channel, but I want to try expand and doing different kinds of videos, which is why I have a roster of videos lined up for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Also, I know who D261 is. It's the Andy the Diesel. Yeah. The Traitorous Tale. Written and written by Percy and the Beast Productions. Welcome to the Unexplained Mysteries of the Island of Soldor. This island is an SCP. These are the documented files of every SCP on this island. I am Agent 3283 or as the locals call me Dave. My job is to document all records regarding- I feel like I'm getting a Dr. Bob <laughs> representation here. Which is, if some videos of Dr. Bob will be actually coming out in the future. Next few days, so keep it, keep up an eye open for those. The SCPs on the island of Soldor. I have here the file of scp i d 984 We acquired him recently. The sun was setting on the horizon. 
We were doing a routine patrol of the island of Soldor in our helicopter when we came across Dia to sick one on his way to deliver a goods train to Vickers Town Yard. Using some of our futuristic tech, we managed to hear Dia to sick one speaking with his driver. He said that his sides were sore and thought that he had took on some bad feel. We saw this as an opportunity to capture our first victim. So we followed him stealthily down the main line. Hmm. As we followed closer, we also heard the diesel cry out in pain as we heard spluttering and graveling from his engine. The diesel tried to push on but was forced to come Andy to a stop had, at the entrance the, of the um, yard. Indy had some, what do you call it, teething troubles or engine problems in the original show. Where the diesel stopped made him the perfect target for us because the diesel was completely hidden from everything else. So we swooshed down on Dia to sick one and his unsuspecting driver. We got close enough to the ground so that four of our guys could drop out by means of a rope. Mm. They dropped down with their guns aimed and told the driver to exit the diesel with their hands up. The driver did what he was told. He was totally scared of us. Agent 267 pulled out a very trusty device that we use out in the field all the time. It's called the memory wire. Men in black, basically. Yeah. yeah. The device at the driver pushed a button and there was a flash. He then spoke to the driver. You never met us, D261 broken down. You are walking to Vickerstown Station to get help. The driver then started to walk down the line without saying a word, unknowing of what he had seen or heard. A couple agents from the helicopter okay, dropped down. Okay, you can't pick boat. up an entire engine with a helicopter. You can't, that's not physically possible, even if it is the SCP universe. Agents on the Just want to point that out. The hook on D261 and attached some device to him to make him invisible once we were in the sky. We uncoupled the goods train from the frightened diesel as he was lifted into the sky. He wailed and screamed for help, but it did nothing as we disappeared into the night. We lowered Dia to sick one into a containment cell and unhooked him. Most of us jumped out at this time, but the pilot took the helicopter to the landing pad. Dia to sick one started asking questions like where he was or who we were. All we could tell him was he was at our base. Aging to six seven began to question him. He resisted at first because he was scared. Two six seven began to interrogate him for what seemed like hours, questioning him about every little thing. He soon spoke up saying that he has no love for Sodor and hates all steam engines. He gave us some useful information about the work schedules and routines of Sodor. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot he hates uh, we steam engines. We see an opportunity well. to use Dia to sick one for our own plans. We continued to interrogate him to make sure he wasn't lying to us and to test his loyalty. So we gave Dia to sick one a choice he could not refuse. Either join us and help us take over Sodor or remain locked in confinement for the rest of his life. He obviously chose to join us. We told <laughs> him he will have a new identity and a new paint job. We put him through our painting process <laughs> center and painted him a fresh coat of music. black paint, along with new numbers written in yellow paint that read D984. We licked the diesel over and repaired any mechanical problems he had, including his overheating issue. We have upgraded him with a tracker and invisibility tech to help him move more covertly. We took Dia to sick one back to the island of Sodor and have begun covert ops with him for the time being he has been really useful. He has asked that we consider recruiting his three diesel siblings, Spamcam, Spam Braxton Cam. and Lucy. We told Spam Cam is an actual character, by the way. I don't know who the other two are. I think the I think uh Percy the East Productions just made up those two. And we'll consider it, but we remain highly skeptical of how much we can trust them. E984 has asked us to capture Stepney, he is Steam Engine, who he wants revenge on for making him look like a fool in front of everyone. That's the episode, and that was the only episode Andy was ever uh shown at all. <laughs> D984 and some of our agents cornered Stepney on the Bluebell Railway. Kings went south when we tried to contain him. His driver and fireman started shooting at us, so we fired back. Redacted. Our agents started to surround Stepney. He was scared to death. 
redacted again. This had been an interesting report to do. This file is marked classified and will be placed in the secret files. This is Agent 3283 saying thank you for this assignment. Good luck, D984. Signed, Agent Dave. Okay. Right, I'm not gonna. Is there anything else at the end? No. All right. I want to make sure because he does sometimes use uh, copyrighted music. I just want to make sure I'm ahead of that. Um, that was actually quite interesting because I actually forgot. To, I didn't think it was Andy at first. I thought it was a diesel that was similar to him. Because I remember in the last video, um, Parsing the Beast Productions posted, didn't mention at all if it was Andy. It just said D982, I think it was. I think that was what it said on his side. Eight. Four. It was four. Um... And it would, there was like no confirmation at all. But I think, is his name Andy? Or did the show just never name him? I might be getting confused with another uh, Top of the Train fan uh, story line. But hopefully, you guys, guys enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, all that stuff. And let me know in the future if you guys want me to react to more videos by Percy and the Beast Productions. And I will see you next time. Bye.